what is up guys this is Harfan the first and today I have a very important topic I have to talk about there's a possibility of seeing Sheamus and Wade Barrett at Wrestlemania 29 for the Intercontinental Championship well I could definitely tell you right now that Sheamus will be competing at Wrestlemania 29 as well as Randy Orton I know my so far my predictions for Sheamus and Randy Orton at Wrestlemania well not throughout well not completely right and they kind of end up with the most oddest uh, with the most oddest match ever Dolph's I'm not Dolph Ziggler Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger and most likely we're gonna see Dolph Ziggler cashing in at the time but basically most likely we are going to see Sheamus facing off against Wade Bear for the in the Cardinal Championship well I'm gonna be honest Sheamus has won a fair share of titles and his his time in WWE, the world title, the WWE Championship, the United States Championship, and he could go for the uh, in the Cardinal Championship, and you know maybe he's gonna have more to accomplish. And the kind of and I'm not sure what's going to happen with Ryback. There's a possibility that he he's gonna be heading on facing the Big Show for the world title, um for the world title. I don't know what's gonna be happening with the Shield, anyway. Hopefully, hopefully, um, no, 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 excuse me with the right back part, just Big Show, he's gonna face Big Show just regularly, I don't know what's gonna happen with the shield, but anyway, whatever happens, happens, but Sheamus and Barrett, let me get on that topic, well, as you guys know, Wade Barrett won the Intercontinental Championship against Kobe Kingston on a, on a live Raw event, um, it was pre-recorded, and, and, and it aired, um, before, it aired immediately, and we all know what happened, we all know who won the match, and yeah, but we still watched it anyway. So basically, Way Barrett beat Kofi Kingston, and the funny thing is, Kofi Kingston beat him multiple times, but Kofi Kingston just wanted to shut Barry up, and Barry finally got the chance. Barry finally won the title, and yeah, pretty much. And we're actually going to be seeing Sheamus scoring off against Barry because I can actually see this promo getting a little bit up because Way Barry was, was in the movie and Sheamus confronted Barry about his movie how lame it was how how whole, how his scene really sucked and uh, it actually kind of resulted to that <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys just uh it's really cold in Miami right now like for real it's really cold and basically I can and basically when you might see Sheamus I I, I don't really want to see Sheamus in the in a Cardinal you United States Championship scene, they're actually pushing Sheamus that um to a mid card um face and to be honest I can't I just don't I like in a way I like it but in a way I just don't. Because Sheamus, um to be honest he deserves to be in a high card stable right now. They're giving uh, their real and swagger a chance, and I actually, I actually see that happening, giving them a chance for you know for time because you have not seen Jack Swagger in the world house scene for a very long time. And to be honest, um, he actually does deserve a chance to be the world heavyweight champion, in my opinion. But when you see their real versus swagger, please do not hit the dislike button on this one. I saw a picture of Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle, and I saw another picture of Del Rio versus Jack Swagger, and I actually saw what they actually meant. And the thing is, the um, when it came to Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle, um, they they were fighting for pride, um, for the WWE title. Like there was always the American Patriot, which was um Kurt Angle, and it was that Latino Heat, and b they basically c um kind of comparing Latino Heat to Alberto Del Rio, in a way. I can actually see what they mean, but I'm sorry, Del Rio, you know, you know that's kind of, um, <laughs> that's, I'm going to be honest about this. Del Rio cannot even fit Eddie's jack straps. But no disrespect, I'm just saying, um, I believe uh, Del Rio is an amazing performer in and outside the ring. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest about that, but when it comes to Eddie, no one could touch him. And Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle is a, a full beast. I'm sorry, Jack Swagger. Um, c I can't even really lift the Big Show as much because Kurt Angle is a full beast. He can actually lift up heavyweights. And until Jack Swagger do that, I will, you know, probably say that. But really, really speaking of Sheamus and Barry, um, I can really, I can't. Imagine Sheamus as the Intercontinental Champion. I I I can actually see him 
with him, but I just can't imagine him as the Intercontinental Champion. If he becomes Intercontinental Champion, he will lose the title to somebody. Um, probably Kofi Kingston or some or somebody, because Kofi Kingston has beat Sheamus before, and I think he's beaten him for the U.S. title in the past. I'm not exactly sure. I think that did happen before. It was in the tables match, I believe. But yeah, um. Well, I can't. Hopefully, I'm not sure exactly if Sheamus is gonna turn heel in the year of 2013. Um, if he turns heel, I can tell you this right now: he might turn heel for the world title. Probably when he loses the Intercontinental Championship, he will probably get into the stage of um trying to go for the world title and probably do he will do anything just to get into the world title scene once again. And I actually cannot, I actually really, 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 really want to see Sheamus going for the world title. Again, I actually want to see Sheamus as a heel again. That's how I really feel. And if Barrett actually comes, if Barrett actually loses the title, this is what I, this is what I predict is going to happen. They're going to have a rematch at Extreme Rules. Um, Barrett's going to probably fall into the low card area. I doubt he's going to really get a championship. Um, about that time. Really, I I personally think that they should really give a lot more superstar chances for the world title because I actually did not like the year of 2012 a little bit because they actually gave they for the money in the bank they actually made only the people who won the other championships in the past compete and I didn't like that because um I like how back then. You 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 don't have to be a, a world champion or former world champion to qualify for the Money in the Bank. I liked how that go up back then. But guys, I'm a uh, I'm gonna see you guys later. This was my fan first. So if you guys liked my review of Sheamus versus Ray Barry, I am out.